All right, this is the white triangle. So by definition, this is a triangle with two known angles and the non-included side. So that's the side that's not between angles Q and P is known here. So we're gonna draw a triangle and we're gonna call it QRP. And let's begin with the segment. That always tends to be our easiest way to start. So we're gonna start here by drawing segment RP, which is 14 centimeters long. So we're gonna create our ruler here and we're gonna go 14 across. So 14 centimeters across creates that segment here. Remember that this is called RP, so I'm gonna put an R here and a P here just for reference to help me as I'm drawing. Now, one of the angles that we do know is angle P, which is 105 degrees. So I think we can draw that in now. So let's go ahead and put our protractor at point P, make sure the zero degrees is marked here, and we're gonna to go to 105. So that's 90, that's 100, that's 110. So 105 is right between those, so I'll put a little dot there. And what I can do now is take my ruler and connect those dots to each other. Now the last part of this, the last one that we have to do is angle Q is 45. Now what makes this a little more challenging is that angle Q is up here, but we don't know exactly where. So one thing I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna use the triangle sum theorem because while we know angle P is 105, and while we know angle Q is 45, if I do 180 minus 45 minus, what was the other angle, 105? Oops, 180, we're gonna get 30. So 30 is actually kind of a secret measurement here. It's like a hidden measurement, and it's actually what measure of angle R is. So that's what I'm actually gonna go ahead and use instead since I have point R right already here. So let's do that. So we're gonna go ahead and place our vertex there at R. We're gonna measure 30 degrees. So 30 degrees, we're gonna use the inside numbers starting at zero, 10, 20, 30. Put a little mark there at 30, and then we'll be able to connect this, thus making my final triangle QRP. So let's line that up. Make sure it's touching the little dash that you marked on the drawing. We're gonna draw this in, and there is our triangle. So this is actually angle Q. If you wanted to verify, you could use your protractor to verify that this is going to be 45 degrees.